though. So we obviously again. saw one of them already. Yes. Um, Pugwest and Mars, I have not seen them play, but I know Mars is amazing. I know Pugwest is amazing. I can only imagine the things that Marth and Zero Suit are going to have to set up. Yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, like you were talking about earlier, Rayquaza and Ryuga, very longtime teammates. But uh, can you beat longtime siblings? <laughs> like, what? Can anybody beat that? Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. An ally and a. Uh, Brother, I no, that's true. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess one, one, one or two teams that can do that. Oh, oh. East Ham and Nick Real Sport. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So much for what I was saying. <laughs> Armada, Armada holds true. All right, so much Armada for what I was saying. <laughs> they win, they win. But one th scary thing, even though it hasn't come into play quite yet, is ZSS can actually stun the opponent, and Pugwest can get an early kill with a Tipper F Smash. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've seen I've seen these two play together before. They do have some really crazy setups with, like, um, ZSS, a B into Marth uh, Footstool. Uh, yeah, some, some really crazy stuff they do. So let's, I guess we'll see if they do that today. I don't remember the last time I've seen them team. Um, but obviously they have team setups and they've played with each other before. So there's no unfamiliarity here. Yeah, and right now, Marge is looking so fluid. He literally traveled across the entire screen, hopping, jumping, evading, and then landing a back air. Yeah, good taunt. Wow, he's went super deep to get that KO. Unfortunately, he puts himself in a really bad position here. He does, but nobody lost his stock from it. Two teams still feeling comfortable. Pug West using the tag I am Marth. That is a very bold claim, but I respect it. Uh, I believe it. Oh, great punish right there. It's very difficult to punish um, Corrin's side beat. And the moment that the pin went into the ground, just went for that up tilt. And then after that, finishes the stop. Great stuff coming in from Pug West, actually. Yeah, that's such a bad situation to be in. If you ever get hit by the Marth for tilt or up tilt, don't air dodge the ground. That's They're all they're always waiting for that. Uh, but it, it's scary. It's kind of like second nature to kind of air dodge in that situation, so I don't blame anybody. Right now, Pug West is on the second stock, but still scrapping. Very, very hard. And right now, you know, Mars. Oh up. my goodness, hey. the Dancing Blade into Flip Jump. Never seen that combo before, but like I said, man, they got some new stuff. They do. Even their teamwork is really well. When Mars right there was off stage, he knew his teammate was going to come off to finish the edge guard. He jumped back on and just let Pug West go with the forward air. Yep. And there, and there we see um, Riga not fast enough to punish that up throw from Mars with the pin. That's how fast the throws recover in this game. Oh, good awareness coming in from Ryuga right there. Seeing that one member of the blue team was going to try to interrupt it and just throwing the other guy into it. <laughs> so after Mars, you know, kind of died like that, I thought that Pugwolf was going to go down there to just kind of yeah. die with him. <laughs> hey, me too. I saw that too. I was like, where are you going? Oh, you are very <laughs> deep. <laughs> Paralyzer does come in. A lot of damage is being put onto Ryuga. Whoa. Uh, for a second there, I thought that was actually going to save him. Yeah. I was going to say, like, that was amazing awareness for it was Mars. still smart stuff to even go for it, though, to yeah. try to get the save out. And so slippery Mars is running off the stage, giving his opponent a false sense of security just to come back with an aggressive option. Right now, blue team very content with staying on the right side of the stage. They have the lead. They know their opponents have to come to them at this point. Yeah, and it's very clear. Ryu are probably not going to you know, be the forerunner of that uh, approach if necessary. Uh, being at 109. Oh, again, jab, dab, smash coming in. And once, you know, we see Mars kind of just fall to his death there. I wonder, he doesn't even try it up here. I guess he like realized, man, I have no jump. I'm not going to make it back. I'm not going to try. <laughs> I thought we were going to see another spike <laughs> off of the Dancing Blade. It looks like he really, really wants it. You know, you see Mars always ready, and that's, again, uh, kind of a testament to how aware he is of his uh, teammate. But all of a sudden, Red Team is crawling their way back, and Mars dies off the top. 61%. After the hit, Logic, times have changed. Blue team was looking very comfortable, and Mars has just been losing his stocks in very unfortunate manner. That is so insane, because Rosalina, you know, 90%, that's a little bit of rage, but that's not like an insane amount of rage. And they're going for their cheeky setup again, and what? Uh, the, it didn't hit Rosalina. It hit, because she was doing, she did her back throw, because her uh, back throw sends it behind her. <laughs> that was really, really interesting, and great timing from, uh, <laughs> from Rayquaza. Good stuff, recognizing that he does have to shield twice, but this might be it, ladies and gentlemen. And it is Rayquaza Ryuga 1-0 over Pug West and Mars. Rayquaza really, really trying to make up um, for you know any unfortunate incidents that might have happened in previous days. You know, again, sometimes you just have your off days, but now we see Rayquaza playing on point today, so it's great to see. You can tell he's even you know doing the the fist pump. He's hype. He's feeling it. It's like yesterday, you know, man. Every day's a new song. Every day's a new song. Shout out to Neo. 
and today is the Rayquaza song. <laughs> <laughs> the Rayquaza song. Yesterday was. I feel like that's gonna go. I feel song. like that's gonna go over the head of a lot of people in the chat. But <laughs> okay, all right, man. You either get it or you don't yeah, get okay. it. <laughs> all right, so game number two. Back to oh. <laughs> yeah, for a second I wasn't sure if they were actually resetting it because that's kind of how we saw Mars lose two of the stocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, maybe like. <laughs> it's like Mars, no, not again. Mars, your little brother's gonna make you do all the dishes, <laughs> <you> big brother. <laughs> all right. I so. like how they both came in the same hoodie as well. Shine series. Yeah, that's. Are they both wearing pajama pants also? Um, I think that's a little brother exclusive. <laughs> it's the little brother custom or uh, <laughs> exclusive color. <laughs> Gimmer does it. Mars does it. Oh yeah, little right, brother right. exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maybe uh, Smashville wasn't the pick they were looking for. All right, I'm really curious. All right, Pug West does not have on pajama pants. Let's go, Pug West. Are you sure those could be considered sweatpants? I mean, some people sleep in sweatpants. Don't don't stretch it out, man. All right, all right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess they're still deciding. I wonder. This is, and it's it's out. It's 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 really unfortunate because all the stages you would want to go to, you don't want um, Rayquaza to take your slot that early. Yeah. So and especially after the first game, probably kind of a, in fear of uh, how early you can lose your stock. Sixty-one percent after the hit. That's insane. I think they either should go to a large stage to depend on their team chemistry. Or they should try to go to a place with maybe close blast zones on the side. It's looking like they chose Smashville again by accident. This is... <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, you can get the winter quarters of a national, <laughs> but you can't pick your counterpick stage. It's not, even like, it? it's not even like this is the first time they made this mistake, though. <laughs> like, how did you do it twice in a row? <laughs> to be fair, Mars did SD twice in a row. <laughs> so um, he's probably the one. Now, shout out to Mars. Definitely a phenomenal DSS player. All right, so let's see if third time is the time. Maybe we can finally choose the correct stage. How many times can they do this before they're penalized delay of game? You know what, you know what I've always wanted to try? Doing something like this and just seeing how long before like the commentators notice, before like the stream runners notice. <laughs> maybe 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 they'll never catch on. Alright, so Final Destination is the, the, the actual counterpick stage. So they are going with a very large stage to just try to win with their team chemistry because it was superior for the most part. It was just uh, some unfortunate things by Mars. Um, Pug West lost his stock a little too early. So yeah. we'll see what happens. No, multiple times. Or, well, I'm sorry, Mars multiple times losing his stock pretty early. Kind of weird situations. But he was just losing his in weird situation. Pug West was just losing his stock. Yeah, yeah, that's true, <laughs> true. Right now it is paying off for them because the beginning of game one started off heavily in red team's favor with blue catching up. This time blue, you know, starting off with advantage. This might be what they need to kind of clinch out at least game number two. Yeah, so Corin and I guess to some degree Rosalina going to have a, a little bit harder time landing on the stage. That was uh, a nice little setup that Blue Team went for. He did the throw, Mars did the spike, and then Pug West actually tried to jump and up air him off of it. That's what I'm talking about, man. These guys uh, have been brothers for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Not by choice, but what's done is done. <laughs> Right now, Pug West is off stage. No one attempts to go head guard him, but that's because he knew the moment he got on that stage, he was going to take that stock. Good stuff for Ryuga with the timing. I don't know if you just saw Mars feeling himself so much. Going for that reverse um, forward smash. That's probably looking for a roll from Rayquaza. <laughs> Didn't get it, but it, you know, I respect the attempt. And Ryuga right now taking both stocks of blue team relatively early, but just like that... Everybody that's, losing their stocks, yeah, man. No fun allowed. No stock tanking in game it two. It just shows how evenly matched both of these teams are, you know? Wow, the landing. Uh, he, he hit him with that down air on the stage. I think he could have gotten punished for landing that down air. That's how much recovery down air has when he hit the ground with it. Deathmatch coming in right now. And blue team clawing their way back. Um. And so unfortunate. <laughs> Ryuga a little too happy to hit that LB button and taking the sock of Rikaza. I respect it. He wanted to recover high because he didn't want to you know, risk getting too low and getting punished. Uh, unfortunately, Rikaza just kind of in his airspace and <laughs> getting caught in the LB. That's like the that's really like the worst case scenario. In his defense, he did he did uh Shouts to Luma. Shouts to Luma just making that, that last play null and void. That yeah. what a weird hitbox from down there. And red team does have the lead again. 
Um, Mars, oh my goodness, Puck West was working on Ryuga and he finished him. Right now we have an even game yet again right now. Whoever gets his first stock, it's pretty much going to win this because when you're playing teams like this, you winning a 2v1 is dang near impossible. Yeah, I think teams with such good synergy, both these teams with such good synergy, the 2v1 is going to be next to impossible. Alright, Puck West getting up with the get attack, alleviating a lot of the pressure that was on him. Ooh, and smart stuff of Pug West. Pug West recognizing that people are now aware to not air dodge. So this time he does jab into jump forward air. Yeah, this is such a scary position to be with, with uh, Rosalina. You know, she's really good. She has rare strong attacks that can punish and get air kills. But if she misses one of those attacks, she's such a light character, she's going to lose her stock instantly. Oh, and that was so smart by Pug West. Goes down with the counter. Then he back airs Rosalina right afterwards. Wow. Has both of the red team on the, on the ropes right now. Unfortunately, doesn't get a KO on either one of those and gets his and sell, loses his own stock even after such a good play from a Pug West. That's so unfortunate because it looked like he was in control of that situation. And now things have spiraled out of control as Red Team takes it over Blue Team. Wow. That was that was crazy. Pug West was putting on a show. He was making all the right choices. It just wasn't enough at one point. Yeah, he he was taking on the entire opposing team by himself at one point. Yeah. And then, you know, one mistake, they got back on stage and got punished, and that, that was it. That was the end of uh, uh, Pug West. And, uh, wow, that's so unfortunate. It was. Um, it was a 2-0, but it... It was, it was close. It was close. Yeah, They're yeah. both close matches. Yeah. I think that could have gone either way, honestly. Definitely. Wow, Nairo. I wanted to see game three, though, to be honest. That's what I wanted. Now we're rocking that black and purple Twitch hoodie. I, I'm so mad I didn't get one of those. Did you um, get? Did you go to TwitchCon? I didn't go to TwitchCon. <sighs> I thought about it. Everyone told me it was amazing. So if you have one of those hoodies and you just want to send it my way, man, <laughs> send it to Xanadu. I'm Put so logic tight. on the name of it. I asked um, like I asked like ten people for that hoodie. Okay.